So today I'm going to teach you guys how to prep for painting if you have some old siding or something or some old shiplap that you need to prep for painting on the exterior. So the first thing you're going to need is some caulk. Now what kind of caulk do you need to use? Well it needs to be paintable because you're going to paint it. I wouldn't get clear because when you go and you actually try to caulk an outside with clear sometimes you don't see the caulk that, that it's filled the gaps and white will help you to actually see. So get the white caulk make sure it has silicone and its caulk as well see it says plus silicone right there it's a little bit more but it's worth it it will not crack near as bad um, if you get the cheap stuff it's gonna crack you're gonna have holes everywhere it's not near as good with the weather um, the next thing you're gonna need a caulk gun get one that's a little you know you got those cheapos but they're gonna break get one that's a little better you're gonna need also a knife now typically, a lot of people when they're caulking, so we've got some new siding here and we've got some old siding here. But a lot of people, what they do when they're caulking, I mean, it, it may take them all day long and they get done with like a small little section. Why is that? Because they're not doing things correctly. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your knife and you wanna slice your caulk on an angle right at the end. Depending on how big your gaps are. If your ga gaps are real small, you want to have a smaller end. If the gaps are bigger, you can have a bigger end. Also, you want to think about the weather. If the weather is like 30 degrees or somewhere in the 30s, you're going to have harder time pressing it and it's going to come out really slow. It's going to take you forever. So make sure you're, you're caulking some in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever. Take a hammer with you as well because there may be some spots where your nails are coming out a little too far. And uh, you want to be able to hit those nails in. So make sure you have a hammer with you as well. Also, you're going to have big gaps just like this. Just make sure you get quite a bit extra caulk. Now, the most important thing, this is the most important thing. Make sure you get yourself some gloves. Now, these are gloves from Lowe's. And I think they're like almost a dollar, you know, a little over a dollar a piece. They're thin, but I've been caulking almost this whole place. We finally have right here worn one of these gloves through that's what's going to happen with your fingers if you don't use gloves your fingers are going to wear through you're going to have blisters all over them and you can take these off and look your hands are clean as can be when you're done except for that spot where the hole is i'm going to go ahead and get started here i'm going to put the gloves on i got some other gloves and i'm about to replace these and put the new ones on because these are getting kind of old but the first thing you're going to want to do is you just want to make sure to do bigger sections okay a lot of people they want to do real small sections but when you're doing it, make sure you do the whole line. Now, when you're doing new, when you're doing new siding, it's a little different. You'll take your gun, put it a little bit on of an angle, and you're just going down it just like this. And you just keep going. You see, I'm, I don't stop. Go from one side all the way to the other. Now, one thing you could do, if it's a little hotter outside, it may dry too fast so you may want to do one line and then take your finger and basically what you're going to do is just you're going to slide your finger down just like this now notice when i'm sliding i actually have a finger in the back here so my first finger's here but my second finger is keeping the stuff from getting on the outside now at the very end of that you're gonna have a little bit on your finger go ahead and take that and just put it randomly on nails that you can see and wipe it now when you're wiping you don't want to wipe up and down okay because you want to go with the grain so you're going to wipe with the grain no matter what you do that way when you paint it it looks like the grain of that wood now if you're doing interior paint and you don't want to see any of the bevels in the nails or anything like that there's a different type of caulk that you can use that has no shrinkage and you may want to use that for your for your nails uh, if, if you're being really, really detailed and neat and it's a very expensive project or something like that. This is just a cheap place. I don't mind having a few spots where I can see the nails. Now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do this section. Now if you got a big section like that, it's really not, it's, it's not different than anything else. You're basically just filling up that section, but notice how much caulk I'm using. Look how much caulk that is. That's so much caulk. And uh, that's why you want to make sure you have plenty of caulk on these projects based upon how big your holes are. Because something like this, I mean, that, that right there almost used half of my caulk gun. Not half of it, but, you know, at least a 
third of it. And then depending on how good you want to make this project, you could tear off a part of your box, okay? This would make a straight edge, and you could flatten it out just like that. And notice how straight it is, because if you run your finger over that, it's gonna have an indentation. And that may not be what you want to look, and that may not be what you want to look. And then plus, look how neat that is. You can use that for all the holes and stuff like that. Then you're gonna take that caulk on here. You can use that for nails. You can use it for filling big gaps. Like here's a big gap right down here. I could throw all that and push it in here if I don't want to waste it. Just make sure to see how I wiped it this way, but then you want to make sure to finish it by wiping it that way so that it, it goes ahead, it goes and finishes the uh, with the grain of the wood. So there you go, that's pretty much how you do it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do some. But you notice your gloves are all nice and dirty. If you get a phone call, you just take your glove off. I'm gonna do this big section here. Show you how fast you're supposed to caulk whenever you're caulking. This should not take all day for people to do. A lot of people come over here, they're so slow. They use a, a you know a tiny bit of caulk and they go as slow as Christmas. That's not how you do this. When you're caulking, you want to go quickly. Now this gun right here has a little popper right here, so every time you get to the end, you can pop it, and then none, no cock will come out the end. Maybe just a tiny bit. You can wipe off, rub it on a nail or whatever. Just clean it every time you go back to do, a, do the next line, and you can also pop the pressure. This is popping the pressure so it doesn't continue to push the cock out of the gun. But the most important thing about painting is that you really caulk good for your paint jobs. The caulk makes the biggest difference to a good paint job and a very terrible paint job. You're gonna spend more time caulking than you will painting, no doubt about it. You will always spend more time painting, caulking. Plus you're keeping out you know, bugs, insects, and so when you're actually taking this gun apart, it won't just open. You have to actually release the pressure, then pull it back. Then you can take the cock out. Now, make sure you save every little bit. So that little piece right at the end, take that off. Use it for nails. And the very last thing you do after you change guns, you just take your... Um, Take your finger and uh, wipe off that second layer. Take the extra cock. You still have your you still have your little paper here. Rub it off on your paper, and then neatly go back. Neatly go back and do every nail that you missed with that cock. Okay. Now a lot of people they want they want to slide and then do nails and slide and do nails, but typically what that does is it, it ends up messing up your it ends up messing up your neat the neatness of your lines. Now every once in a while you will have a board that'll come in. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this camera down here, show you this. Every once in a while you will have a section like this where you have this board, this one's out more than this one. And even if you hit it with a hammer, it's not going to flush it up. No matter how much I hit that, it's not gonna flush it up. So what you can do is, you can take your extra cock or you can take your cock from your gun and add some here and slowly flush it out. Kind of almost as if you were, uh, almost as if you were doing sheetrock. And don't throw away your boxes because these little, these little box ends come in handy for making stuff straight, even for things like this, because look, you can come in there and you can slide that like that. And you can make a pretty, pretty flat little edge there. And it almost even gives the look of a grain, the grain in that wood. You don't want it to be perfectly flat, because this isn't perfectly flat, but if you're dealing with um, if you're dealing with a board that is perfectly flat, 
you can always carry around some some cut off boards or something like that that you can use for those sections like that. And when you're when you're rubbing the nails, you see how I'm rubbing that out. It really doesn't matter that this caulk gets here or there. It's going to stick just as good as paint does. So don't worry about having you know a little bit of extra caulk on the board. Uh, the main thing is just you just keep moving. And see that that nails out a little bit. That's why you want to keep your hammer closed. That way you can really get those nails flat. All right, there's how you caulk a house. You're going to have to wait, let it dry. Read the instructions on your caulk to see how long it takes to dry before you can paint it. And then you can come by, you can paint this, and uh, it'll it'll look amazing. It'll be sealed from the weather. And uh, yeah, this this caulk with the with the um, silicone in it will last a lot longer. You shouldn't have to worry about this for many many years. You guys take care. I'm gonna take my glove off so I can stop the camera and look clean ends.